quality. You hear it in commercials, you see it on billboards. It seems like every product and company claims that their product or service has tons of quality. But what is it actually, and how do you define it? Well, I was a quality engineer for a few years, so I'm going to go over some of the definitions that I know quality as. First of all, when I hear quality, I usually go straight to thinking about quality certifications. And the core tenet idea behind quality and these certifications is say what you do and do what you say. You see this as the core principle in multiple quality system certifications. TS16949, which is for the automotive industry, ISO 9001, which is more general. You see it a lot of times on semi trucks, AS9100 Rev C, that's for the aviation industry, etc. What's interesting about quality system certifications, they don't care about the product specifics as long as you make it the way it is described and your systems follow the set procedures. These quality certifications, they don't care what you're doing as a company, they just care that you're defining what you're doing and you're following that procedure. Uh, an example I was taught in school that I like a lot, you could be a company that makes life jackets made out of cement and you could be quality certified. Horribly bad product, yet if you say you're making life jackets out of cement and you're following the right processes that you defined, you can be certified for it. So if you're driving down the highway and you see a truck that says ISO 9001 certified, that just means that company has a set procedure for how they're trucking things and what the driver should be doing, and that on a regular basis they're being audited and following the procedures. And in a general sense, quality is striving for perfection, but never achieving it. As you get into quality and measuring things, which is known as metrology, you realize that nothing is perfect. You can get more and more specific with your measurements, more and more narrow and tiny, and realize that no two things are alike. Even things that we think are identical, you know, like money, I have a picture of a penny here, eventually you zoom in close enough and there are differences penny to penny. This ties in well with the idea of continuous improvement, and I would say it's more relevant now than ever before. You see it in all sorts of quality certifications, and it's something even that really the business field has embraced as well, to continuously improve or you're not going to survive, especially in a capitalist economy. So nothing is ever perfect, but over time we're getting better and better at making things, to the point where you think things are identical, even upon close inspection. From a product sense, so think about yourself as a consumer, quality is the sum characteristics of product attributes to meet your expectations as a customer. I would say this is the most familiar definition of quality, uh, just because we're all consumers at some point. So think about it. Have you ever called in to complain about a product or had to use a warranty? Why? Probably because part of that product did not meet a preconceived notion of what it should do in your mind. You get into marketing and you talk about there's levels of a product. You expect core things, there's things you desire, there's ideal things. Depending on how much money you spend on something, you expect it to have a certain number of attributes that have to be at a level that meets your expectations, especially related to price. And this is huge in marketing and other fields as well. Price is the single biggest indicator of quality. So the more you pay, the bigger your checklist of things you expect from your product is. From the production side, there's the idea that quality can be built into the product. And this is a core part of the lean methodology used in the Toyota production system. And if you're in the manufacturing industry at all, you know that TPS, the Toyota production system, is huge. Um, it was pioneered by Toyota and a lot of companies have adopted this mindset of how to produce things. Part of that production system is known as a Judoka which involves stopping a production line as soon as a problem is found, immediately. And this, you know, stopping a production line is very expensive and causes a lot of pressure. So this leads to very rapid root cause analysis where you determine the problem and then fixing it very quickly, which helps build quality into the product. Because if you're fixing your problems as they occur almost immediately, you're making the products better continuously. And think about Toyota products. They have a pretty good reputation for being quality vehicles. There's also the idea that quality is checked in. It's known as quality control. 
This involves checking the product after production to prevent non-conforming products, so that's parts that aren't good, from escaping the facility. You don't want bad products reaching the customer. There's a big argument here between checking quality in and building it in. A lot of people say that if you build your quality in and you have a perfect world, you would never need to check quality. And that's true. But of course, it's not a perfect world. And most people accept that you can't build things perfectly all the time. But the better you get at building quality in, the less you have to do checks. And that's generally accepted with most people. Great, thank you so much for watching. I hope this gives you a better idea of quality and the many definitions it has. If you like my videos, please subscribe. I'll be doing at least a couple a week. Thanks for watching.